Hi. Uh, so, um, one of the things I feel like I've learned the most about this week is the way art appreciates and value. Um, I think there are two ways that stood out to me the most. Um, one was the way art can appreciate and value based off of society's viewpoint of the art and the uh, political agenda it, the art possesses, I think. Um, that, that's an interesting way for art to appreciate and value. The other way that I found to be very interesting is based off the artist's individual life. Um, I wouldn't have thought the artist's individual life would have had a major impact on the artwork's value typically, just because I feel like typically um, people value art based off the message the artist, the art is uh, trying to send or the overall beauty of the art. I feel like typically, I would have thought typically people wouldn't be as interested in the artist's individual life. Um, new experiences or thoughts that I've had this week. I, I think it's just been interesting to see how other people uh, view the same piece of artwork. Um, for example, there was one of our classmates who said a an architectural piece of art, a building that was surrounded by a geometric sphere, was could serve as protection. I wouldn't have thought of that personally, but I think it's an interesting point that may be true. Um, so I think it's been good uh, to see the way other people think and maybe try and think along those lines more often. And uh, I wasn't super surprised by any of my classmates' pieces of art that they picked in the Get Acquainted forum. Um, but I thought that some of them were interesting pieces of art and it, I think it just resonated with them maybe a little more than it would have with me but I think that some of the pieces of art have sentimental value to others that they may not have to me and that's great. Thanks!